Welcome to Shop Wild Things Video Time with Tina. Today we're going to show you a video on how to make a fuller cut curtain. Uh, more, a more, if you're looking for more coverage on your curtain or just to have the beads tighter. If you look back behind me here, I have a beaded curtain. You say I have four fingers up here and you have about a finger space in between each one of these. So a lot of people like to have something a little tighter and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, you may want to view the video how to cut down the width of a beaded curtain because it will explain how to take the end cap off and how to pull out this flexible inner rod. It will explain everything like that for you. But we're going to kind of cut to the chase right now and show you, you know, we don't we we don't want Let's say we've got our curtain, and you're saying, I really don't want to just have the normal spacing of a finger's width. I would love to have mine tighter than that. The ball chain curtain is what I'm using right now. The ball chain is a six millimeter bead that literally can fit between each one of the toothed prongs in this flexible inner rod here. So you will get to have a bead strand in between each one of these little toothed rods here. And you'll get a full looking curtain with the least amount of space possible. You get them nice and tight together, and I'll tell you that ball chain curtain works lovely for that. This is the crystal iridescent curtain that we're using in the ball chain. We also have it in silver and black. We have white, we have different colors available in it. We have a steel color, that's a cross between silver and black almost looks like a stainless steel. And look at how beautiful that is when it's a nice long curtain. Just every tooth is filled with a bead strand. So easy to do. You purchase, what you would do is you would purchase two curtains and you can actually fold into the ball chain curtain. You can actually fold three curtains into one. So three curtains into one would get you what you're, what I'm doing right here, right now. Or you can just do two curtains into one, whichever you prefer. And you would just fill all those up and you would just slide that into the head rail. making sure these bead strands get in there. It's kind of like a one by one process. They eventually take their turns and get in there. And you can see how it's just kind of lining up there. You just kind of got to feed it in there. A little bit of patience is all you need with it. And it will eventually say, okay, I'm going to cooperate today and I'm going to just go in there and get this done for her. So you can see how it's stringing along there and how lovely that is. And you would just, you know, do that all along with this toothed inner rod here. There's usually three sections. The section I just put in, another section, and then a small section. Slides down the rod, just like so. And once you have all of the inner toothed rods, you would take the, the small end cap here, put a little bit of glue all the way around there because the end cap will keep all of this inside of the rail 
just glue your end cap back on there and you have that beautiful coverage with the least amount of spacing possible in between. So that concludes the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.